I'm Hilary Ash. I'm Honorary Conservation Officer for Wirral Wildlife and I'm also one of the volunteers who's run New Ferry Butterfly Park for the last 17 years. It's a site of biological importance within Wirral because of the large number and variety of invertebrates that we have here. Butterflies are a good flagship species. They need good quality habitat. Nectar for the adults, special plants for the caterpillars to live on depending on which species and the shelter places for when it rains and for the overwintering stages. So they are a good way of knowing if you've got a nice habitat with all the right sort of things for butterflies. It will then also be good for bees and a number of other invertebrates as well. There are 36 species of spider, six species of shield bug, including a blue one which is quite rare in Cheshire. We have lots of moths, we don't usually see them because of course they fly at night. We have grasshoppers, wood rice, and in the pond we have damselflies and dragonflies and smooth newts. My name's uh, Paul Watnane and uh, I'm involved with uh, managing this nature reserve uh, for all sorts of wildlife but in particular skewed towards butterflies. So we get a lot of, a lot of biodiversity in a small site. I've got 26 species of butterfly here. The rarest one is a uh, white hair streak very hard to see because it lives on top of an elm tree and it's only 25 millimetres big, so it's quite small. The peacocks and the tortoise shells, and we've got the common blue. Brimstone butterflies are, are arriving, they're, you know, we've got a bit more global warming, they're moving a bit further north, so we're seeing them more frequently. And we planted plants for them, the older buckthorn again. The larval food plant's quite important. The small copper butterfly, that likes sheep sorrel, and the sheep sorrel grows in acid conditions, such as we found on the coal dust. This meadow here has an awful lot of um, cowslips in, in May time and now it's, it's quite a variety here and it's lovely with the, with the margin and stuff. Other times of year, June, I like the area where we scrape back the rower ballast and it's full of yellow birds for trefoil which is wonderful for many butterfly species and many moth species. The history part goes back quite a long way. The earliest artefacts we've got is brick making. So we've got uh, features of uh, bricks that have been made on site. And then later on, with 1840, the railway came along and they set up railway sidings here a water softening plant, which is used in the days of steam to stop the, the engine from furring up. So that left it with calcareous soils. We've also got a coal depot, so that left it with um, acid areas from the sulphur from the coal, and we've got thin areas of railway ballast. I mean, it's because we've got so many different types of environment and habitat that we've got such a variety of butterflies here. This year we're very lucky, we've got a new artist in residence, well our first one, Carol Ramsey, and she's coordinated three or four artists to do different different right. types of art work, sculptures, which if you walk around the park you can have a look and make some sense. One was on a bug tenement, it was a bit of play on our uh, current situation. So uh, they, they were building a new development for the for new tenants, which were bugs, of course. We've got the thing called an elastitone, which you can just pull a bit of a coppice, we've got some hazel coppice blocks, and you can pull them on a bit of string, and it hits a, it hits a drum or a, or a few plastic bottles, you can play a little tune on it. It's great fun for the kids. We have well over 2,000 school children within walking distance, and take regular school parties, especially from the primary schools. This allows the children to see butterflies and bees and all sorts of mini beasts and they particularly love the pond mini beasts of course. If you just type New Ferry Butterfly Park into the web you'll get, you'll, you'll get more information on the web pages or look on the Cheshire Wildlife Trust web page because the Cheshire Wildlife Trust Reserve. Um, we're open on Sundays 12 till 4 which is sort of from May to August and if your group wants to come along then just contact us and we can open it especially for a group, you know, interested groups the scouts or the girl guides come or Boys Brigade, quite a lot of special needs schools come locally from the, from the Wirral. I think they've, you know, they're, they're surprised, you know, it's just a different environment for the students and they, and they have a really good time.